While it's no surprise, it is early. Democratic Attorney General Josh Stein announcing today he's running for governor. We know that there are five locations, the women's care in Williamston, immediate care in Wilson, and three family medicine locations in Jacksonville, Aurora, and Snow Hill. State government workers are no longer allowed to have the app TikTok on their state-owned devices. Just yesterday, Governor Roy Cooper signed an executive order. Professional game streamers are set to rake in millions of dollars this year including some who live right here in the Carolinas. I think I have too much energy and my parents would probably say if I had <laughs> coffee, I'd probably be bouncing off the walls. Italian food is famous all around the world. If you ask any Italian who's the best cook, they might tell you their mama. After failing to pass it by just one vote, some state lawmakers say they'll try again this year to legalize online sports betting in our state. The family is trying to figure out what's next after a semi truck came crashing into their home. For the first time in more than 40 years, the state is making a key change impacting health care for hundreds of thousands of people. Sure, we can't keep those temperatures we saw this afternoon, you know, for the next week oh. or so. State leaders say they want to cut those lines and wait times, but they're struggling to fill the jobs they need to do just that. It's impacting customers all over North Carolina. Guess yeah. what? 161 days until summer. Oh, wow. already this is skip wow. spring. You already, you already <laughs> I'm Courtney Courtright. Thanks for joining us. While it's no surprise, it is early. Democratic Attorney General Josh Stein announcing today he's running for governor in 2024. Officials are saying it's setting up what could be an intense battle against Republican Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson. Our Capitol reporter Michael Highland is live in Raleigh for us tonight. Michael, Stein has been building towards this announcement for a while. Michael, thank you. Let's talk about this in today's vote now on nine poll. This is what we're asking. How many other candidates do you think will officially jump into the race for North Carolina governor to vote? Use that QR code right there at the bottom right side of your screen. You can also use the free nine on your sign mobile app. All you have to do find vote now on nine in the menu, or you can head over to WNCT.com slash vote. The city of Fayetteville is preparing for former President Donald Trump. Officials say he'll be celebrating and honoring the life of Lynette Diamond Hardaway on Saturday. The singer was part of the group Diamond and Silk. She passed away earlier this month and drew national attention for her conservative media personality and support for the former president. One program that has helped many families across the state is ending. State officials say they plan to end extra federal food benefits in March. Officials say this initiative gave struggling families at least 95 extra dollars a month during the pandemic. They say the average family will expect to see a nearly $3 decrease in daily benefits per person. In health news, we're getting an update on COVID-19 right here in North Carolina. NCDHHS is reporting more than 14,000 new cases. That's more than 7,000 cases less than last week. More than 1,300 people are in a hospital. They say 52 out of 100 counties are at high risk for spreading the virus right now. And as we get those latest numbers of COVID-19, health officials are still talking about the triple-demic. That's COVID, RSV, and the flu. Now, a new study is looking at who is suffering the most from the illnesses. A journal of pediatric study is suggesting young children are getting impacted the most. It found those under five who tested positive for a second virus were more likely to be admitted to the ICU. The study also found children hospitalized with COVID, obesity and diabetes were significantly associated with severe illness. Being with my horse is the best part because it's a bond that can't be broken. About 10 years ago, Jasmine Street made a wish. She wanted a horseback riding lesson for her 10th birthday, and so we did that. And that turned into, can I go every week? A birthday gift, forever changing her life. I started with English, which is jumping. That led to Western. She loved it, and she just had a passion for it, and she was a natural. And eventually, to barrel racing. I like the speed and everything about it. Barrel racing connected her and Rocky. Turns out he likes going fast too. He was green broke, he didn't really know anything. I worked him groundwork and then saddle, and then he learned to trust me, and that was the biggest thing. Trust takes time. Going fast together takes effort. It took Rocky a year to learn the pattern. Hard work and dedication is the major thing. If you don't have the work ethic, you're not gonna make it very far. Three years of work, 
created a state champion team. He has turned out to be a great barrel horse. They qualified to compete at Worlds in their division. It's a crazy feeling that from Blunt's Creek, North Carolina, I can go to so many places. With a lifelong friend, all because a 10 year old made a wish on her birthday. From the day that she asked for a horseback riding lesson to now Worlds, it's crazy.